Hey guys, welcome to your uh, love reading for Pisces. Uh, this is uh, gonna be a no contact reading for you guys. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're gonna take a look at the person that you are in no contact with. We're gonna see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this person. And then we'll finish off the read to see what will happen if you have contact with this person. Apply this to your own unique, unique situation. Uh, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my uh, new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. Uh, do all the youtube -y stuff to support me on there, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So, Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. The person that Pisces is, a, is in no contact with. What? Is it a good idea for Pisces to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with? For um, January 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. So we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. And the Page of Wands, I feel like this person definitely will reach out to you. You know, I feel like this person's definitely making some moves here, romantic gestures towards you. This person might be flirting with you or something like that. They're definitely trying to be cute here. Definitely trying to win back your, yeah, they're definitely trying to win back your heart here. The problem is with the moon card here, I do feel like this person definitely holds a lot of secrets here. Okay, this person doesn't really assure a whole lot about themselves. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sash, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, that Knight of Swords here, and the Hangman. Is it a good idea for you to reach out to this person, to talk to this person? I would say no, uh, because I feel like there's gonna be a lack of transparency with this person. Yeah, I just feel like this person definitely has a hard time <sighs> just really being their true authentic self here. You know, I feel like it's almost like this person's putting on a show here. Yeah, it's it's like they're trying to be really cute. Yeah, they're trying to be really cute. They're trying to win your heart back. You know, they're trying to, you know, sort of like win you back here. Uh, uh, but, you know, I feel like with the Knight of Cups here and the Knight of Wands, not the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, there's a lack of inconsistency with this person here. You know, the Page of Wands here, this is an indication that this person, you know, tends to be in this energy of like being very flirty, likes to be friends with benefits here. You know, this person might have other options here too. Yeah, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person's definitely coming back. Think, sorry about that. They're definitely coming back for some sort of sexy time here. I feel like this person's not really going to give you a whole lot more than that. I feel like they're going to be really sweet. They're going to shower you with gifts here. Uh, you know, I do feel like this person definitely carries around a lot of burden, a lot of pain, and a lot of trauma with them. I do feel like this person's definitely someone here who's incredibly insecure here, that loves a lot of attention from other people here. Yeah, I feel like this person loves a lot of attention. This person definitely hides behind a mask so that their weaknesses don't show here. Yeah, when I see a lot of knights, this is an indication that this person is just really flighty here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? And the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So, I mean, Pisces, this could be you. Just like, you know what? I am just ending things with this person. Uh, you, know, I've, you know, I feel like, you know, you're fine without this person. You're happy without them. But I feel like, you know, it could be also, you know, just kind of like an indication that, you know, this person hasn't really changed a whole lot either. So I feel like it would not be worth, you know, connecting with this person and just speaking with them. What else do we have for, for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on? What will happen if there's any sort of communication with the person that Pisces is in no contact with? For uh, January 2024, for Pisces, for Pisces.
Okay, so we have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. Oh, uh, we have the Star card and Judgment. So the Star card and Judgment. Star card, Aquarius Energy, Judgment side, Aquarius Energy. This person definitely has a bit of options here. I mean, they're looking for a new beginning here. They're looking to reconcile here with you. But, you know, I feel like... I, I feel like this person makes you feel weak to your knees. And you feel like you just give them a chance because of that. But but I feel like this is this time it's going to be different. Uh, you're not going to allow that to happen here. Okay? Uh, yeah, it just see, it seems like this person definitely takes advantage of your kindness here, you know? Because I feel like this person kind of go, comes and goes as they please. And I feel like every time this person came back, you accept them, them back. But, you know, nothing's really changed here, you know? So the Two of Wands and the Six of Cups here. Tell me the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like this person's definitely missing you a lot. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you miss them too. I feel like you miss them too, and that you hope that this person can change or will do better here, but you're noticing that there's no change. There's no growth. There's no expansion with this person. I feel like you've gone through growth and expansion and healing with uh, with yourself here, okay? You've gone through awakenings here. So I feel like a lot of the progress that you made here, I feel like this is something like that you don't want to go back on. We have uh, the star card and the lovers. We have the judgment card and the four wands, okay? You know, re remember I was saying that this person makes you feel weak to your knees. Some of you guys are going to be like, no, this is not going to happen again. I'm not going to like this person, you know, energetically manipulate me or something like that. But for some of you guys, some of you guys might take the bait here. Yeah, some of you guys might take the bait here. So, you know, I say some because, you know, this is just a general reading. It's not... A specific reading where I'm directing this energy, this, directing this energy towards towards one person. So you know, I say some because you know. Also, at the end of the day, you know, even though this is just a general read, and it re if it does resonate with certain people here, you have free will to do what you want here. The nine of cups here and the seven of cups. Some of you guys might take the bait here, and some of you guys might not take the bait here. Yeah. But I do get that the sense that for some of you guys, some of you guys are just really happy with where you guys are at right now by you being separated from this person. But, you know, I just, yeah, I just feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys, you know, I just feel like this person makes you feel weak to your knees and you feel like some here is about to take the bait again. Yeah, uh, some here is definitely going to paint a pretty picture like we're meant to be together here. The universe is bringing us back together here for a reason. You know, we should be together. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this person does definitely has some challenges, some hurdles that they have to uh, overcome in order for this relationship to be healthy here. Uh, because this person's energy is really scattered here, uh, just all over the place, okay? So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.